many times he's been in a final here and uh, James is going to have to do it the, the hard way because Phil is in the way but just looking at Phil there he's looking around taking in all the atmosphere and uh, I think he just appreciates what he's doing. I think he realises time at the age of 51, 52 in August is, is against him now and he's enjoying the moments of his career. Yeah, I, I think you're 100% right and, uh, and why not? He's not going up there with the attitude that this will be my last time but he's, he's appreciating everything that, that is happening to him and uh, good for him. James Wade has, has won six major titles. He's never beaten Phil Taylor in a final. What would it mean to him to, to do that tonight? I think then it would, it would be a, a, a tiny little monkey off his back. <laughs> I, I really do think that because a lot of people say it, that he's, he's won all these majors without beating Phil, but it doesn't matter to him. But if he can get the job done tonight, then he can say, look, I'm a champ and I, I've proved it. OK, if you want to enjoy the, uh, the banter on Twitter tonight, we'll bring you the stats and the facts. The backseat stage gossip at Sky Sports Darts is our Twitter address. 27,000 and counting our followers. Your commentators, Rod Harrington and John Gwynn. Yes, thank you very much, Dave. So another big, big night here at the Winter Gardens. The 19th World Match Play Final. Getting a bit of a habit, this. The fourth time... 16. In just seven years, we are seeing Wade and Taylor meet. And yes, it's already been mentioned that Taylor's won every time they've met. But is this possibly the night when oh, Wade has oh, his say, Rob? Great start by oh. the power, though. Well, if you're going to set your stall up, Gwynne, the 180 off the bat is the way to do it. And uh, dare I say, could we have a nine darter in the first three. leg of this final here at the Winter Gardens? As you said, and we've said all day, I don't think James will have a better chance of beating Phil on the way the week's gone. He had changed his darts after the second game. 44. And he's shown a little bit of lack of concentration at time, whether the crowd got at him or, you know, whatever it is. That's when this man has got to jump on it, if it happens tonight. It'll all pan out within the next two to three hours 100. certainly even from the first leg James has got to be totally focused well it's 17 years almost to the night since Phil Taylor won his first world match play title beating the great Dennis Priestley his greatest adversary of the at the time 35 and, uh, here he is now tonight seeking his 13th title here in Blackpool and, uh, James Wade, the man 43. who has won this title, Could of course. <laughs> uh, they've got the power. He could have the glory later tonight. Wanted the ball there, didn't he, for the double? 102. Well, against the throw, Phil's left that double top after 12 darts. A real tidy leg to start the final. But James, what he's got to do, as Wayne said in the interview, Keep with him. Force him into making mistakes. You know, he may miss, might not miss the double top, but at least put the pressure on to show him that you're around. Tops for Taylor then for a, an early break of throw. Double ten. Now double five. And already, even so early in the contest, this is important. Well, that partly sets the tone. If Wade can take this out, it certainly will seem like a break of throw to him, Rod, won't it? Looking at tops. This is a big dart for James. Now, to be honest, there's a little bit of a wayward one. Phil's been let off, you see him say, come on. Now, this double five is one of the worst doubles on the board. If you're going to miss just above, well, straight in the middle. Taylor takes the first leg of this final against the throw. Second leg field. And we, we were talking over. about James Game taking one. his chances. Although he threw first in that leg, he had a dart at double top to nick it. And it would have been a nick after Phil having three darts at the double. Well, he started the first leg off with a 180. 180. The prediction was so close to being a correct one, Rod. Look very, very comfortable this week, Wade. 140. I have felt in recent weeks in the Premier League, in the latter part of the Premier League, and even 
Bolton at Bolton. And certainly this week, James Wade has looked fire. the part. And even in that interview we heard a few minutes ago, he recognises that he's older, more mature, uh, and really feels as though he's ready to take on the mantle of being a champion again. 135. Well, he's certainly got the ability, as we see James Wade. Has a good action, head nice and still, and a good release with the wrist. That's where that extra little bit of power comes from, just to put the dart above the treble and in the treble instead of going long. 140. Well, 11 different players have been beaten in the final of this competition over the 18 previous years. And uh, if there's a 12th rod, then it can only come by Phil Taylor as uh, James Wade gets his first maximum. Because, of course, Wade has lost in this final, we know. Even as, a, as recently as 12 months ago. 96. Well, Phil puts 46. the pressure on, but James Wade now after nine darts wants the 46. He's going to go for the six, his favourite. Wow, he's hit the 10. Maybe ironic. Oh, no, this is not a good switch. Got to hit this, James Wade. And that, listen, the big six there, John, was... I know Do it's very easy for us to say that, but you can't do it against this man. Ooh, well, offline. And that was well off target. I think there's a little bit of nerves, even with the power. Well, that caught the flight, didn't it? And was never going to find a way through. So, so double four here for Wade. Double two, double trouble at the moment. You spoke too soon, John Gwynn. Far too soon. Third leg Good James down. to throw first. Well, Keep two on. breaks of throw already in this final. And Phil Taylor, three clear darts, a double top. He missed darts in the first leg, so James Wade's got to be thinking. I know I would be thinking. Think, right, let's keep the scoring up. Phil's missing doubles. Keep the pressure on him. Make him miss more. Don't give him legs easy. Yes, Taylor, one out of seven. Wade, one out of five. Hardly spectacular. 99. And, uh... Remember 12 months ago, Taylor, Wade went into a 2-1 lead. There it is, the figures that... Uh, 46. In front of your very eyes that I mentioned there. 14% and 20% respectively. I'm pretty certain that there's going to be improvement on that somehow. But uh, 12 months ago, Rod, uh, Wade took a 2-1 lead and then Taylor reeled off eight legs in a row and it effectively... Uh, finished the match, although in the end, Wade did win eight legs. Uh, he'll want, obviously, to make sure he stays closer to Taylor than he did on that occasion. Well, that dart means that Phil Taylor has to switch. The dart above the treble for Phil Taylor is not a good one. It's the opposite 58. with James Wade, so now there's a big chance. Now what James Wade wouldn't give for a 180, he'd settle for the 140. Worst way he'll settle for the ton to leave the Shanghai on those 20s. But he definitely needs a treble. Is that squeezed one in there? No, that's low. Great camera angle, as you can see it, as the player can see it. 60. Now, let off there for Phil Taylor. Now, if he can hit the big trebles. Yes. That was what Wayne Mardle was alluding to, wasn't it, earlier, when he said Wade must set himself up. Because Taylor's certainly going to here. And how? 204 becomes 24. And he's pleased with that. You can tell. Yeah, it's all about being brilliant at crucial times in a game. And certainly, 100. Phil just did that. Nominated to leave this double. Now he's been missing doubles pretty badly already in this game. Is he going to clean this up? Oh, that was dead centre. Weren't going to mess around on the doubles. Takes a 2-1 lead. Three breaks of throw already. Two for the power. And James Wade got to wrap the 140s, John. This is where Wade's game is, 140s. He never hits a lot of 180s, but he's a one, 140 power machine. But at the moment, only one. That's where he's got to improve. Power machine. That's what's on the stage. Power 
And yes, you're right. Uh, that was an example there of what Wayne Marlow was alluding to in uh, talking to Dave Clark. 100. He's got to set himself up better than he did on that occasion. Oh, of course, nobody's more aware of it than James Wade. And I'm sure he will attempt to make a better fist of it next time. But uh, you can't take it away from Taylor. Whatever Wade had done. Easy one. Taylor taking out those, what, 204 with four darts, Rod. Can't beat that, can you? You can't, John, but you can certainly beat the six darts that Phil Taylor's thrown in this leg. One of one of those. That's what James Wade's going to do. He's punished the bad score of Phil. He's got a couple of dart advantage. So Phil knows, well, I was going to say he knows he needs a 180, but the way that dart's looking, looking pretty <laughs> ominous for this 180. Yeah, it, 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 just a little bit too much weight on that last dart. He fancied it. He did. But even the great Phil Taylor had settled for 140 every time he went to the board. 60. James uh, Wade just not finding the range as consistently as his opponent at the moment. Well, again, John, at that crucial points, he's not hit a treble. And it happened in the last leg. 98. He hit a straight 60, Phil hits the one, 180. He hit, he's got to hit that treble at around the 200, 250 mark. Now, he needs a couple of trebles. There, Wayward is going to let Phil possibly... Go for the 57 instead of, Who you, you know, really punishing him. Yes. No pressure. Yes. And uh, 78 left. Be Becomes 60 left and uh, not under any real pressure. 57. Unless, of course, Wade, who had those six magnificent three-figure checkouts last night. Including a magnificent 164. Needed that one, didn't he? 143, because this is to open up a lead now. The first leg of the match, possibly here, to go with throw. Taylor wants tops. Taylor gets tops. Taylor now opens up a little bit of daylight. And I would suggest, even so early in the game, Rod Harrington, that James Wade really does have to hold his throw here. 16. Ultra important, John. He can't go into this first break. 4-1 down. He's given too much space to fill. This is where James, I mean, normally you'd set up for a 15 dart with the throw. But he's not hit a treble. And Phil Tyler's pounding the treble at the moment. That's his third maximum. Then we only play the five legs. So now James has got to return the maximum. That's two of them. Well, you know, Taylor's hit three maximum scores, and they've all been in the leg against the throw when you most need them. If you're going to break, that's when you most need your highest possible 100. score. And he's done just that and set himself nicely here. Wade scrapping away, needs another treble, and another one will be much, much happier than any other. Wade. That's what you like to see. Somebody scrapping away, Rob. Yeah. We talked about great shots, crucial times. That's where he's got to do it. That's what he did in that leg. Just tell Phil Taylor, you know, you ain't going to dominate me. You ain't going to run away with this game. 91. Now, possibly six darts from here, but if he's looking to go out in two, maybe the third dart will be at the bullseye. Now, he'll probably hit a big 11 here. The bullseye to get back in this game. Unlucky, 96. 96. Leaves 25. And now what could be a killer, and uh, Wade might half expect this. Treble 20 for the bull. And the bull, which eluded Wade. Oh, Taylor gets even closer than the left handed in. And in the end, Still, the favourite double ten of Wade serves him well. He holds his throw for the first time in that leg. And it's 3-2 to Taylor. A break up the reigning champ. Knockery uh, scored his 180, his third of the session. And uh, what did James Wade do to his credit? 
He oh. hit one as well, and it, it gave him just enough leeway, having the advantage of the throw, to win that leg and stay within one of Taylor because, yes, Taylor does have that throw, that break of throw to his advantage. Because Wade ends. started the match, then it's, it's only the one leg difference, but it's in a very important break, even so. And uh, had Taylor thrown first, then he'd been 4 1 up. That's the difference. Well, that's why I can't understand why Phil Taylor wins the ball fight and always gives the throw away. Well, he, he does on certain tournaments. He doesn't on others where where there's no sort of need to win by two clear legs. He's he's, he's quite cagey, really, isn't it? Isn't he in his choice? 140. Well, I don't know whether it's cagey. I, I would never ever give the throw away on anything. Well, you, know, you, you break once and you're three nil up. It's the same argument in tennis. Your opponent is cold. Give him the serve. While he's cold, that's, the, that's when he's most vulnerable. That's when you're more likely to break him. That's the reasoning behind it. I'm not saying I agree with it, and I don't. That's their reasoning in the main. One well, certainly gets Ronnie back to the last night, the semis, and tonight, his argument has, has totally worked. He's 3 2 up. Yes. And a good advantage in this leg, but a 180 certainly puts James back in the frame. His third maximum of this match. Three apiece, six already. And as we see, he slammed that third dart in there. A little bit of extra knots on that dart. Taylor can't go out on this 169. He's left the bogey. So, Wade, you'll be looking at the two double tops if the first dart's not in the treble. Yeah, brilliant set up there for Taylor. One, two, nine leaves tops, but this still represents a great opportunity for Wade. Will he go for two tops? No. I 16. thought he might, and I Could think against a lot of other players, he might have done. Against Taylor, thinking better of it. Well, I think he should have gone for the top. Bigger target, but Taylor on the ten. He's going to miss again. Taylor takes a two-leg lead over Wade. And the, the, the double top, the two doubles are really common in the game on the big TV stage and on the floor. It's not being flashy, it, it's the bigger target, the bigger percentage. Yes, I agree. It was Wade who did it here a few years ago and upset Kevin Painter uh, when it was less prevalent. Uh, you famously did it when you won in 98 against Ronnie Baxter, and uh, many others have done it since. And uh, well, I think it was just an indication, maybe, of Wade's added respect for Phil Taylor. Anyway, we'll never quite know without asking him. A lovely, lovely setup there with uh, two treble 19s. Well, hardly a setup, but it gives him that lead, but only. Short lived is that lead. <laughs> Taylor hammers the treble 20 again. A full maximum for the power. And once again against the throw rod. Yeah, pushes his average up to over 106. James on 96, which normally you'd say he's getting warmed up. 85. But he's just coming off the top, and Phil Taylor's just getting that little lead. He can't let him go too far in front. If he misses a treble, oh, this may be a little of a well now, bit of a chance. A 180 like he did in I think leg four. He hit the 180 to set it up. He's got to do another one here. Leave the 47. Put the pressure on. A oh, brilliant 140. Yeah, it was in the fifth leg when he hit his second 180. The leg he needed to win before the break. And uh, at 140 leaves him 87. The problem is Taylor now wants 64. Now he wants double 11 for a brilliant finish. Oh, well, he's got a split 11 when he comes. And that's what I mean about Wade. He doesn't look flustered. Consistently, he looks well within himself, in control of himself. Double 18, double 9, been there before, missed it. On the game, but that's unlucky. Right on the wire. Who you require? Yes, James has got to take those chances. They won't keep coming. Really did brilliant to give himself the chance with the 140, but now Phil Taylor double four. Oh, 
Well, that's on Wade with Dart for Taylor. Double two. And Seven. another chance for Wade. I know it's only to hold his throw, but he will feel 18. that he's nicked the leg off a of field. But this double nine, not a great, especially for a left-hander. What a wide note, John. Straight James in the middle from James Wade. You can James see Phil Taylor shaking his head. Over. And that's what James has got to do. If he's going to get inside Phil Taylor's head at all, he's got to nick legs off him. Yeah, and he nicked that one. It was uh, Wade who started, but he nicked it in the end. And uh, you could say both players gave each other more chances than they deserved. 99. And in the end, it was Wade who cashed in. So, 18-12 uh, to Taylor in 06. That's Wayne's prediction tonight. 9 to Taylor two years later and 18-8 12 months ago in their previous three meetings on this stage. But both older and certainly weighs 1-6, much wiser. Never lost in a final here, Taylor. Never lost in a final in lots of competitions. We were doing a bit of a count-up in the press room earlier, Rod, and uh, we reckon 73 televised tournaments, and he's won something like 67 of them. That's final. 136. Final. It's not a bad record, really, is it? No. That just shows the consistency of the man over the years, his professionalism in trying to improve tournament on tournament. 140. And certainly, you know, let's not forget James Wade is still a young man in this game. He's got plenty of years ahead of him. But Phil Taylor, will he go for the bullseye? No, he'll go big 18. 94. He ain't worried about the bullseye finishes, John, when he's ahead like that. Set it up, come back for the double. But James is in that position again. Hit a big score, put some pressure on Phil Taylor because he's been missing doubles. You never hundred. know, perhaps, he may have in his 32. head because he's trying a different double this time. Yes, he's pretty hot on double 16, isn't he? But the look on his face tells you, thank goodness for that. No messing about this time from the power. I think he deliberately went for the 18 to keep away from the tops. Been missing them in this match. Easy fire. And again, crucial leg here for Wade. He throws first. Doesn't want to go and get four legs adrift because it's going to be really hard to peg Phil back. Well, of course, we all know the nice thing about the 16s. Not only does it offer you the perfect breakdown, 16, 8, 4, one, 2, one. 1, but it's also next to the 8 and you're throwing, if you single the 16, into the target just above it. So it has two really big advantages over any other double on the board. 99. Well, in cricketing terms, I suppose you've got the line and length nearly. So, yes, uh, indeed. You know. well, we're coming to a leg where Wade cannot afford to lose. This is a slip up for Tyler. Well, you've got to say a ton is a slip up. Wadey, 5140s at the moment. I'd like to see him start hitting at least two of those in each leg. Well, he's going to do it here. Is he going to have a 180? 140. Yeah, but he's take got a, that. A sixth 140. 21 three figure scores to Wade. 21 three figure scores to Taylor. Could say pretty even. But uh, impressive though, Wade's 96 is. 133. Taylor around that 104 now, but settled around 104 now, you feel. And so it's going to be incumbent on Wade if he's going to get back in the match to up the ante and get his average up around the 100 mark. As Taylor looking at 168, can't check, can't check it out, of course. But that leaves him nice and handy on 32. Wade on a, a double top that he usually, usually takes out. Maybe now that's an indication that both of these players are settling into the match. They've missed doubles. Wade, seven of them. Taylor, 11 of them. And... Uh, Latterly, Taylor, one dart at double 16, and there you saw Wade, one dart at double top. Maybe the trend has now been set, Rod. Certainly the best.
best leg of the match for James Wade. And now, one hand can throw here for Wade would certainly put him back in the game. And, and you kind of feel he's got to. He starts off with those 140, which I keep saying, they're the things that win your legs in tournaments, especially if Taylor now doesn't hit another treble. 100. Well, and this is a chance. Wade, another 140, and he nearly gets his three darts average in front. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, this has got to squeeze. He's coming down, actually. You can hardly 99. blame him. I was going to say that had to squeeze through, and uh, almost inevitably there'd have been a diverted dart. And uh, wants to avoid those if he can. Well, Wade did have a bit of an advantage, but Taylor goes and picks off three trebles, chased them around the dartboard, found all three. Needs a 140. Oh, he's gone over there. That's all in the game, he's counting, so he makes sure he leaves himself a shot out. But Taylor now, the 130, to go two legs in at the break. Will he have a dart at the bullseye, or will it be? Going for the treble 18, taking a bit of a chance there, John. No, you know, yeah, Wadey yeah. takes this out, that's a mistake. And, and Taylor will hold his hands up and say, Well done, I did take the chance. I don't really think you're going to take out 134, and uh, of course, he can't now. Uh, sometimes it's a balance of judgment, 94. isn't it? Because Taylor has now left himself 32. on 32 rather than possibly a 25 had he gone for a, a bull finish, double eight. This is a big dart for 6 4 at the break. Now, and yet more signs of the power failing to nail it. Well, double top for a 5 all game. He's got to hit the double 10. It's normally at the end of his left arm, and it certainly is this time. James Wade gets let off in that leg by Phil Taylor. Takes the chances. He goes into this second break. Five legs of, with the power. Plenty more darts left in this game. We'll be back very shortly. Are experiencing now. Yeah, it seems a long time ago now, though, John. I don't know whether I could hack it with this new breed of players. Well, we can't. That's why I don't play no more. <laughs> you know, I got fed up of being beaten by the youngsters and. Uh, there's no respect in this game, and you shouldn't show your opponent's respect on the big stage when you play them. Off the stage, you do, but you play your own game. 100. And certainly Phil Taylor, 26% on doubles. That's about as bad as I've ever seen Phil Taylor. And we said that James Wade, if he's going to win this tournament, he's got to take advantage of Phil Taylor's mistakes. And at the moment, in that last set, he certainly did that. Easy one. Yes, it, it actually reminds one of how well Taylor has been scoring because in spite of having that uh, somewhat indifferent record on the doubles, he's still averaging nearly 105. Indeed, is averaging 105, 105. with that position. And uh, normally, averaging around 105, you would expect a 50% or more checkout stat. Uh, so all the more remarkable his scoring power and way gradually upping his suggested that that's what he would have to do to stay with Taylor and so far so good quality match yeah, it certainly is we build it up to be a great final and at the moment it's living up to the task James White now that's a perfect dart he'll be disappointed if he doesn't put at least one in that treble and he needs one 100. which he grabs that one now if I was standing behind there I think well do you know what I'll sit off for one treble don't hit me with two I'm gonna have a dart the balls on the one two one anyway and I might be able to take it out well Phil Taylor's certainly gonna set this up pretty perfect which he does leaves himself the number 16 added pressure now on this shot little raised eyebrow from James Wade is it to say not bad that now then, he's, he's gone for this before. Double 14 it is this time. 93. Yeah, only 93 Three score because 32. he missed the double. And that magnificent 171 from Taylor, his second of the match. This one so much more telling. Four darts 
ago he wanted 203. Now so he's won the leg. That's the power of the power. Well, we can see the expression on James face there that's a cracker of a shot I have to say that really does tell the story that's the story of missing the double 14 now the, the rest of the week John he's taken out those shots especially against Terry Jenkins yeah. and, and we keep saying if he's gonna win this today they're the ones he's got to take but there he did 203 in four darts earlier in the contest he did 204 in four darts 100. 180 and double 12 uh, that's the magic of this man. He really has that propensity for banging in at the moment when he really needs those crucial darts. Yeah, you're exactly right. But but if you're going to get inside Taylor's head and upset his throw and upset his rhythm, that's where James Wade's got to do it. Hit the double 14. Phil's hit the big score for nothing. Then you do it Easy again, three. and then you do it again. And in the end, even Phil Taylor will have to start thinking about that. But at the moment, he's letting Taylor back in, and he's taken those chances, and another break of throw. Really? James, although he's up in his average, he just needs that extra 140 in a leg instead of the ton, John. Yes, it's minimal, but it matters. And hitting the double, as you suggested, is also... Rather important. 140. So 140. Maybe that's one of them. Maybe another big score next time, like 138, for instance. To back it up. To break back, in fact. 125. So Taylor goes to 129, and Wade here, a 138, can really help his cause. He's not going to get 138 now. Any double, any 94. treble rather. That's a good one. Where's your money this leg? Because it's snip and tuck. It is, well, both players could end up having a dart at the bullseye. Phil Taylor's going to have the first one. Oh, he's going to the treble 20. Oh, that would left double six. So Wade is going to get at least one dart at the bullseye, John. But how he needs to hit this treble 20 with this first dart. Once it's in the dead centre, straight away up there for double 12. Well, he's going to have to go 14 for bullseye now. Now, double 11. Big shot here for Wade. And he's, he's up for the task. The That's what he's got to do. Yeah. He missed the double 14 in the previous leg, but he didn't miss the double 11 he just below it. Well, there's always a sign that Phil Taylor's getting a little itchy when he starts chewing his flight. So I know that he's trying to make sure that they're consistent. 90. In the dart, but they're, made, they're nice and evenly arranged. But uh, I also think it's a, a nervous trait and a sign that he knows he's in a battle. Great leg that from Wade, and cool as a cucumber. He really lined up that double 11, didn't he, Rod? One wonders if the double 14 had gone in the previous leg. Well, for the left hander, John, the double 11, double 14 seat should be pretty easy. As you know, if you stood there and just pointed, you'd be pointing at those doubles. So, it makes it a lot easier. But James Wade's got to be feeling, oh, as Phil Taylor hits his fourth with his fifth 180 of the match, yeah. James Wade's got to be feeling, I'm not playing at the top of my game, I'm still in there. I've just got to hit this purple patch, and then perhaps I can get in front of him. 16. Certainly, I'll get in front of him without hitting the treble. Five in the match so far for Taylor, and uh, 24 in the tournament. This might be number 25. 140. Oh. But at the moment, looking likely to break yet again. First three legs of the game were all breaks and throws. Then we had you six on the trot that went with throw, and now we've had three breaks on the trot, and this for a fourth on the trot. And no so problem. Seven, nine, six to eight. Taylor, and more work for Wade to do. But that was a very, Four, very three, clean, three, methodical three, leg. Game. Oh, Phil 
must be getting pretty frustrated because he's winning great legs against the throw but then not been able to hold on to his throw it does get frustrating seven legs out of the 13 have all gone against 96. the throw well, we have to say you know at this standard the 96 james wade's got to say right i'm going to jump on this that's a good first dart if you're going to miss that's where james wade would like him well, 55. Didn't really punish it. No, but the fact that Wade has broken Taylor three times uh, is reflective of uh, or indicative of uh, the way Taylor has thrown really on the doubles rather than on the scoring. And Wade would be a bit dismayed, really. It's a bit like an away team scoring three goals and still losing. And, and, and you feel as though you've done the business, but, uh, but you haven't. This is where we've got to have the extended Whoa! left arm of James Wade, that extra bit of power that slams the third dart into the other two and kisses it and funnels it down into the treble. That's what he's got to do. I know, you know, we said his perfect 180s, we said his bad 180s, which sound crazy. But when you get the two in like that, 16. you have to just over pitch it, slam it into because the low dart's never going to make it, but a high dart will always make it. Phil Taylor, champion in 95, 97, five consecutive years between 2000 and 2004, and four consecutive years between 2008 and last year, looking for a fifth consecutive title for a second time. That's how dominant he's been for the period of the world match play. But uh, not out of this contest by any means, Wade. Needs the treble, though. Has to 16. hit the treble. One treble in six Three darts. Roll, has let Phil Taylor in. The 113. Looking at that treble 20. You've got a feel he's going to have a dart at the double top or double 18. Well, it'll have to be the double 18. If any now, well... A chance here for James Wade, and if it had just left under the 120, John, it's yeah. so much James better than this 1-2-3. One, 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 but if is so much a part of this game, and the fact is he didn't, and now he's got to rectify it here. That's a brilliant start. 66 left. I think it's bullseye. He went for the treble, knowing that it would leave double nine. He wasn't sure at first, and he only just missed the ball. That's the difference sometimes. Between being seven apiece and eight, six down. On you, Phil Taylor, that's what it meant to the power. One dart at the ball for Wade. So crucially, the wrong side of the wire. We're back to where we were, Rod. In the fifth leg of the match where we've said... Wade cannot afford to lose it. He must hold his throw. He's kicked off brilliantly with a 180. He could have gone into the break 4-1 down had he not held his throw. Here, it will be 9-6 if he fails to hold his throw. So the scenario really repeated. 98. Totally agree with you, John. He needed that leg. It's ultra important that he wins this leg. He can't kick off any better, but he's got to follow it up, which he has. He's hit the treble. 100. I know they're brilliant players, but you kind of, that's when you do settle for a ton. When you've kicked the <laughs> maximum off, you settle for the ton to follow it up. Fifty-nine. So if only fifty-nine for Taylor. Wade then, two two one after just six starts, knowing that he must hold his throw here to stay 16. within one of the power. Again, there are worse times to hit only 60. Because even a 180 here for Taylor would leave him on 164 and still trailing. And it looks as though that's going to be the case. Well, pressure darts from Phil Taylor. Now, can Wade go out in three? He's not going to go out in three darts, but he's got to set it up perfectly. Now, Phil Taylor to take a three leg lead three into this break. The 164. We've seen it a couple of times, I believe, this week. 
Certainly now you go for the 257s, that left the bullseye, but that was wayward, so Wade's going to come back. He doesn't mind double 12, John. Easy Expect him to clean this up and go in Can just one leg adrift. Yes, yeah, so double 12 for an 8-7 scoreline. James Wade, now double 6, it's right above his favourite double 10. Fraction in here, what a big dart this is! What a big dart that was! Missed it, and now Taylor knows! Yes, he knows! There's that business-like sense here about his look and his appearance as he wants 20 for tops for an important 9-6 lead. Oh, just over the top! So close! Relief for Wade, the little raise of the eyebrows tells you. Didn't think I'd get another go. Get another go, he did! It's only double three, but it's a big, big double three! And 15 legs into the final, it's Taylor eight, Wade seven. Game on! He's close enough. It's good enough to go through with it. Well, Phil, he's got the throw. It's a little too clear. Yesterday, he was coming out from the break like a bullet. Slack. After the first start, that was slack. Phil Taylor's missed 15 wow, darts in the double, and James Wade has missed 13. But Taylor, very uncharacteristically, has missed them in clumps of three on several occasions. That is rare. Remember his uh, doubling stats at the uh, UK wow, final when he lost to Robert Thornton. Just five hits in 30 attempts. So it's not been anywhere near as bad as that, but certainly uncharacteristic from Taylor. Yeah, slightly worrying. James. 2007 he was the youngest winner at the age of 24 Phil Taylor when in this great event last year was the oldest winner at the age of 50 he'll be the oldest winner again at the age of 51 94 Very much a, a throwback to the uh, one hundred first time they met in the final in 2006 when it really was nip and tuck for the first half and beyond of the match. It was only 10 9 to Taylor at one point, and then the power pulled away to an 18 11. That's the key question. Can Wade stay with him as you get into the real meat of the match? And this 1 2 5 would help. Bullseye. Now, semi bullseye 25. James, you're too good, sir. Too accurate. And he wanted a semi. Got the bullseye. So double 16 to go two in front once more. Game no bother. Taylor, clear Bill by Taylor. two again. We can get back within one, then Taylor pulls away. It's it's interesting. Where every leg that James Wade throws first now there is pressure cannot be broken again in another final rod when Phil beat James in 2008 James averaged 102.58 and only won nine legs that is incredible well, that was the year that Phil Taylor broke down in tears as he defeated Wade 83. That is not enough. Phil knows that this is an opportunity. Well, he might switch from that. No, he's not. He's, oh, he, oh, 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 he was going to switch. Fulton. He couldn't make up your mind, Phil. Fifty-eight. 
Well, we say that certain players have their favourite tournaments, and uh, this is definitely one of Phil Taylor's. He has won over £600,000 in prize money just from this event alone. That's more than some players' career earnings just from the match play. Obscene. More than a lot of players' career earnings. It's been the scene of some of his greatest career moments. Tenth anniversary of the, the nine dart leg against Chris Mason. 16. 2008 final, the famous Annie Oakley shot to win on the ball against Wade. Now, this could culminate on the ball too. And it won't now. Well, if I'm honest, I can't believe Phil went for the bullseye because there was no way 18. if he left it, he was going to go for it. So, uh, slightly folly from Phil. 40. Phil, you require 45. Last time it was 13, double 16. That is his modus operandi again. Why the long pause? That's why. And also, Phil wasn't happy with that 13 run. 13 was a bit low for him. I think he slightly pulled it and uh, to compose himself. He stepped back and probably hit the double. Job done. Well, that is the first time in this match that Phil Taylor has established a three-leg advantage. Remember, he needs 18 for 13. 13 world match plays. Phil knows. You tell by the way he steadied himself Nine before the start of this leg. He moved the collar off his shoulder. Got himself settled. He knows that... Now entering a very important One three or four hundred. legs. That's a good marker for the power. Wow. Didn't use either, did he? Punishing darts from Wade is what he wants to follow that loose shot from wow, Taylor. Well, that will do. That will do. Puts him 99 in front. I just get the feeling that the pace has slowed just a tad. And I can guarantee you that Phil Taylor has dictated that because he has become slightly more methodical, Rod. It seems like, right, do the right thing, get my legs won, and I've won doesn't really work like that when you're playing someone the caliber of James Wade 135. well he had a little bit of a sticky patch a lull against Ronnie Baxter in mid-match this is far and away his worst leg of the match he's now thrown he's thrown 12 darts James here Bill Taylor in this leg and he's only scored 285 points Go for treble 14. Now 12 to leave top. Very unlike Phil to have a poor leg just after breaking. He's let Wade back in this. Looked like he was going to pull away. James was having none of it. 16. James well, top step for James Wade. This would be. His fourth break of the Taylor throw, and now he's chasing him around the board, hunting doubles, hunting double five. That will do. 10 8. It's James the former mechanic refuses to be a spare part in this final. Poor start from James. Just broke back. 30. Well, look at the face of James Wade. What? 30, I don't hit 30s. It's not what he wanted to follow up that really useful break of throw with. Well, only 100. 100. Wade has probably had a right result there. Another treble in there. Another one. Really be kind of no harm done. Well, and if Phil can hit a 140 here. We could see three breaks running. 
There's already been nine breaks in the match, which is more than what you'd expect from these two class dart players. The world's best on show. 58. That is lying lovely. The switch. 90. Well, it looked like so much more than just 99 when the first dart went in. The pace now is it's nearly stopped. Phil really taking his time, composing himself. Phil Taylor knows that some parts of certain games are there for the taking, can dictate the outcome. This 96. is definitely a stage in this game. He could go in at the break, 12-8. He knows that that would hurt. The bat will hurt Taylor. James Wade, half a dozen maximums, same as Taylor. And now the break is on. And 10-7 uh, to Taylor, one and a half legs ago. And going all over the place James again here. Quiet. Wade is still very, very much in this match. Oh, yes, double 16. James Taylor's average dropped from 103 to 100 in the matter of three legs. Just when he steps on the afterburners, it would have been oh so different. One leg in it. Stacker on top. 98. Oh, no, no, no. Well, Phil Taylor's record at the match play reads played 76, 170. Won 24 games straight here. But by no means certain to make it 25. His average is dropping and 99. Wade's is pretty much hovering around the same mark as it's been since the start of play. James Wade is not budging. He's done this throughout the whole tournament, James. Looks very, very reliable. Looks hard to beat. And proving so again. That is a perfect dart. He may have to switch there. Indeed he is. Oh, that doesn't hurt, does it? Well, this is the tenth leg in which Phil Taylor has thrown first. And... He's odds on to lose his throw again here, which will be five losses of throw out of ten. That's almost unheard of. Oh, Phil is now playing like how we played against Ian White. No offence to Ian White, but he cannot do it against James Wade. He will be punished, and he has been. Taylor leads 10-9, but you get the feeling... He's in a spot of bother here. 99. Is that Very much so. And that 99, really not enough. Now, 57. Still wants the 57. Well, that's unlucky. Triple eight, treble 16, he was aiming for. 59. Now, this would be a Taylor special. 160. One in. He wants another there. No, no, no. So the best he can do is leave a single data. Wade's not forced to get more than one data to double. But this is to level the match, Wayne. At ten each. Always goes for treble nine. Now tops for ten ten. What a dart from James Wade. No emotion shown from James, but there was from Phil. We have a game on here. Phil Taylor is struggling against James Wade. This could go the distance. Who will it be? I've got to say, Phil Taylor had a, a kind of mini wobble there in the last three legs. James, the James took full advantage. He's hit the 60 straight back from the break. Wants another treble. 97. Not finding one. Well, most of Phil Taylor's previous 12 wins at the match play 
have been comprehensive. He had one grueling battle, 18-16 against John Park. Here's the odds. Taylor, two's on. Wade, two to one against. Remember, Wade was three to one at the start of the game. Now two to one. Well, incredibly, there hasn't been a ton plus finish in this titanic tungsten tussle so far which really is quite incredible i think the ice finishes 92 rod i think right james wade 120 double 16 check out 10 breaks of throw in 20 legs Shows the inconsistency on the doubling, really. You'd probably expect maybe 70, 80% of legs to go with a throw at this level, Wayne, wouldn't you? Only 50% in this match. Well, I felt that Mervyn King in the first round played Phil Taylor brilliantly. OK, he never crossed the line, but I felt he played excellent on his throw. Putting pressure on Phil's throw. It's what you've got to do to beat the power. Just coming up short, Mervyn. The signs are there of a revival. 46. Here we require 99. A 99 by the seaside in Blackpool for Taylor, perhaps. Double 16. Oh, again, the pause. 67. But this time, the miss may not matter. Coming back for at least another three. Well, just what we were saying, you cannot give your throw away. And that's... What James Wade looks to have done. It's not a given that Phil will hit 32. It's probably 1 to 8. It's probably 1 to 2 now. He goes back in front at 11 10. When this is a game that neither player has grabbed by the scruff of the neck, neither player has put their foot down. Phil seemed to have got away, didn't he? In the last mini session. Back come James Wade. 82. Now, if he can grab it by the scruff of the neck, as you say, it's an important time to do it. Six times these two players have met in major finals, and Wade has lost the lot. Three times here, and uh, the closest he came was in 2010. That Never to be forgotten night at the Premier League finals when Taylor did the 2 9 darters and Wade only lost 10 8. Another good visit from Phil Taylor. His 16th 140 of this match. It was a great second dart from James, even though 16. it never went in. It opened the bed up, but he did not use it. Was it a good time though for Phil Taylor? He was, as you rightly said, Wayne, you used the, the right word, a wobble in that last session from 10 7 up to 10 all. 59. Was jelly like darts for Phil Taylor. But the break again, he, he's won the first leg of every session in this match. That's incredible. And no coincidence. I no. don't think. No, I couldn't agree more. 116. Against. Twenty backs doing the semis. When we were commentating, we said that he's come out from every break like a bullet. Phil Taylor, 32. the last two legs, has just romped away with them. Going to give James an opportunity to take out one four six. No, you will not. This leg is huge. James has to hold. Simple. Well, a two-leg lead right at the start of the match is not of huge importance, but it becomes a relatively bigger lead the closer you get to the finishing line because Wade will have less time to claw it back. Taylor is still six legs away from the finishing post. Two legs in from the break. James Wade is having a terrible session. Average has gone from high 97 to 
95 in two legs. 60. Now, what you just read into that, bearing in mind he's been nowhere near a double. And what I mean by that, scoring-wise, I don't mean that the darts have been bad at doubles. So the scoring has just gone. It's left James Wade. Well, in post-match interview after his win over Terry Jenkins in the semis, he alluded to the fact that he'd lost concentration, lost focus at times, and said he was going to have to work on that and make sure it didn't happen against Phil Taylor. It is happening. He's lost his way 76. here just at the wrong time. Well, you can see there the average. 79. That's incredible. When you consider that James... For the whole tournament was averaging 99. That's including bad sessions. Wow. That was not quite just thrown away that third dart, but it wasn't far off it. Almost a concession of this leg. He might wish he'd kept closer order here. Only we'll 44 if he can. Well, a big score from James. He can plant the two 60s in. Plant this one in. Well, that dart was was loops. It was a loopy dart. What I mean by that, there was no aggression, there was no power, there was no thrust. It was a weak dart from James, that five. The ball has been hit. Double 16. This is for a three-leg lead again. 50. Oh. James a massive, massive Shanghai attempt coming up. The biggest three darts of this match so far. Is James Wade up to it? Again, a weak dart. Since this is unlike James. It really is. When years gone by, you could safely say Taylor will not miss here and now. But tonight... There's a question mark. He answers it. Bill Taylor goes three legs in front at 13 10. This session is looking like the decisive session. Remember, they came back on stage at 10 apiece. Taylor has won three straight. Look at the celebration from Phil. No one to have ever picked up a dart knows the importance of winning certain legs than Phil Taylor. He knows how much it can hurt his opponent. He's done it to every player he's played. 86. And he also knows we're not to hit sloppy darts. Phil Taylor is not at his majestic best, but 100. the averages and, and scores and what he did and doubles he missed will not be remembered by anybody if he wins again here tonight for the 13th time on this stage. And he is closing in on that title you see Phil taking what probably seemed an age to James Wade there 96. to get to the hockey and release the darts and James just give him a little glance as if to say you trying to wind me up fella well Phil done that in the last session when he just took his time and in my opinion become too methodical Phil normally just plays and you can see really standing back taking his time this is a deliberate ploy. Mark my words. Oh, and this could be his seventh. It is his seventh. They're coming just at the right time. We've had a drought of 180s. There was a flurry of them early on in the match. The last one came in the 15th leg. 100. But that one there, Taylor's seventh, sets up the possibility of a four-leg lead for the first time in the match. Phil so will look for cover and gets it. We'll go for treble ten to leave 32. And gets treble ten to leave 32. Again, Rod, leaving James Wade, not even loitering near a finish. Well, we can leave tops. Well, that would have just put a bit of pressure on. He's on the two data as it is. Taylor for 14 10. First time. Four legs clear daylight between the two players. 
Well, every player in every match in every sport will have a bad patch at some point, a rocky patch. The key is to minimise the damage it does to your chances. Wade is having a terrible run here, and he is wow. not minimising the damage. In match play finals, how many times have we seen just this with Phil Taylor? The opponent gets to 7, 8, 9, 10, and then he runs away. I don't know what it is, but it must be something just ingrained in him to say, right, it's, it's go time. This is when I put my foot down and uh, I leave you in my wake because this is what's happening right now. Can James stop the rock? Yes! That will help. Magnificent 7, 180 from James Wade, but he has lost the last four legs of this match. It could be a whitewash session. 90 seconds. Wade must take this leg. 15, 10. My word, you, you couldn't see him coming back from that. I agree, has to win this leg. Keep him down the line, James. 81. Well, he won't be happy, but it's not a disaster. Even if Phil hits a 140. <laughs> and if you're looking for a ton now to leave the biggie. 60. James well, this is the time, as you said, Wayne. For way to strike to top, stop Taylor pulling away. Another one alongside for his favourite double ten, but well, even a single big back twenty leaves tops. One hundred. Looks like he's gonna keep his hopes alive. One hundred. James should require Fulton. Important dart for James Wade. Double ten. This has to go, you feel. 20. That is pressure. James Wade, the best double ten hitter in the world. Fouled to get it. Well, this won't quite be curtains, but you feel it effectively will be. As Taylor looks for a fifth leg on the trot. Needs to find the treble. He felt he could put that one on top of his first dart, but he didn't. James will require 20. Double 10, his old pal. He needs help from it this time. Look, he's way inside. And, and indeed he has. James Wayne James has just James. kept his hopes alive by winning his only leg of that session. Wasn't it the break with the throw? Can he do what he's done all the way through the match? And kick off with Abrahma. 136. Well, that is indeed a Brahma of a start from Phil Taylor. It's been five mini sessions, and Taylor has won the first leg of every single one of them. 58. It's now 1,799 days since he last lost on that big stage to Terry Jenkins, 2007. He's not a man to get one step ahead of himself, but he'll know how close he is now. Blocks both. 57. You've never lost on there, Rod. Very good. I would have done had I played on it. Wade with the second best record in the match play, second only to Phil Taylor with this superb 45. run to the final. This the fifth occasion. Well, you could say that. This is a bit of the story, isn't it, of the world match play. People play excellent to get to the final. They meet Philip Taylor and they do not carry on and finish the job. Well, I remember doing an interview with Bill Taylor about three or four years ago and I remember him saying very well, I've seen him come and I've seen him go, you know I have. And you could list, starting with Dennis Priestley, the top players, the number two in the world, who he's seen off over the last 20 years, and it would be a very long list. And he's still there, dominating darts. With darts like that to leave 76 after a dozen thrown. He's not failed to win the first leg back from the break. Phil, you require 76.
looks a certainty this time as well double eight to move within three legs of the fabulous 13th victory he will be coming back he will indeed They'll be coming back for double four. Is this the start of the rush for the finishing line from Phil Taylor? Double two. Game show 26. Get in, you beauty. That's what he said. The averages now are as low as they've been since the start. It's the pressure. It's the emotion of it all. And the other guy is just worrying about the other. Something's got to give. And Phil Taylor has taken advantage of James Wade's mediocrity. It's the last six legs. James has not been at the races. Got to line up as Wadey. Well, he's disappeared off the map, James Wade, since the game was tied up at 10 each. 96. So, by the way, that James walks up to the board, ambles along, strolling, not with purpose. Tell your opponent with your body language that you're up for it. You want to fight. 57. He has precious little room for error, James Wade. 96. The mathematics of the situation are. Taylor only needs three more legs. It's not in, but what a markup for Phil. 100. Now, James is in control of this leg. Needs a good setup shot. Ninety-seven. It's good, but he could be under pressure. Phil, he's got a switch. And he doesn't want to be going back 57. there. James require one he left a shot. Tops, it will be the first ton plus finish of this match. And it is the first three figure checkout of the final. And it could not have come at a better time for James Wade. A head shaking James Wade. You're still in the match, man. You're only three behind. He has to keep his belief. He cannot just assume that Taylor is going to roll him over and run away with it. Phil's averaging 98. If he was averaging 107, 108. You might think, yeah, okay, there's not a lot I can do about it. But there is a lot that James can do about this. Some moments of sheer magnificence can win this. James Wade, he's only six legs away himself from lifting the trophy. Well, he's gone AWOL, James Wade. For several legs. 62. It's been in many ways a confusing match because every time you got the feeling one of the players was getting on top, they've gone off the boil. The other players had a little bit of run, they've gone back off the boil. Neither player has attained any level of consistency. Reminiscent of Wade's game against Jenkins. 48. Will we require 129? And James. Giving Phil every opportunity to get to 16 legs. 43. That's not great. 140. Well, now then, now then, this 86. 86. 
is under a bit of pressure. May only be a shot at the bullseye. 54. That is just... James should require man Hamilton full time. Inexplicable. Phil Taylor I... has done something I've never, ever seen him do. Will he be punished for it? Yes, yes he will. That was a statement from James Wade. Do not give me a chance. Do not turn down a shot at the bullseye, Phil Taylor, because I will punish you. What an incredible decision I'm from Phil Taylor. I, I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I had to check the scoreboard three times to make sure that the scoreboard wasn't wrong and that Phil Taylor had, in fact, turned down a shot at the bull with his opponent on 1-1-4. It wasn't as if his opponent was on 161, 167. He might take a little bit of a punt. It was on 114. Well, we looked at each other in amazement, and it was a case of, are the graphics wrong? No, they were not. It was Phil Taylor's mind that was wrong, in my opinion. It's hard to uh, say that Phil Taylor does things wrong on the dartboard, but I'm sorry, that was not on. 97. Indeed. He was on 68, he had two darts in his hand and he fired at treble 20 and missed. Even if he'd hit it, it would have been the wrong thing to do. Let, let's be fair. And Wade has been handed a lifeline here. 39. One of the most incredible things I've seen. Staying there for a 180. 100 and James will require 164. This leg, remember, will get Wade back within one. And he had no need to go for treble 18, but with Taylor not on a finish. Entirely different circumstances. Full credit to James Wade, though. After being asked a question, he came up with the answer, didn't he? 138. Now, he hits this James double 12. There's only one leg in it. Double six. Dance. Great dance. 15 14. It was 15 11. And Wade is taking in uh, Taylor into territory here that only John Park has managed at the match play. Only Park has won more than 12 legs in a final at the match play against Phil Taylor. 16. He lost 18 16 in 2002. Almost uncharted waters for Phil Taylor, who was really staggering, not sprinting towards the finishing line. Still favourite to get there, mind you. At the start of the 21st leg, Phil Taylor's average was bordering 103. It's now averaging 98. But this would help. Well, these are survival instincts kicking in now with the 15 times world champion. He's under threat, he's under pressure, and he has produced an eighth max of this match. Of course, it's still about skill, but really now, you're talking about bottle and desire, belief. These are the games, when you win, you go home. A satisfied man forget the titles it's the way that it's how you win it sometimes you get asked the question in life and sometimes frankly you don't have the answers but the winner of this will brilliant bullseye from Taylor been in some real shootouts over the years we remember 98. the great world championship finals against Kevin 72. Painter Mike Gregory at the late side Raymond van Barneveld Johnny Part but he lost a couple of those games he's by no means bomb proof at the end of a match double 16 Fulton. James, you require what a shot this would be Treble 20. 
for a ball 20. Double 10. The whip of a wire on a dartboard. Look how close that is. And Phil Taylor knows how close that was, just as we all do. Now he wants double 16. Is that the match? There and then, I wonder. It could so easily, but for the width of a while in 15 all. Taylor is relieved. Taylor has escaped to lead 16-14. Smile of pure relief when that double went in for Phil Taylor. Could that dart that James Wade missed at double ten be the dart that means he doesn't win this? It could well possibly be. And how close, how well thrown. Well, we say, Rod, don't we? The width of a wire. And that was it. It was well thrown. He didn't choke. 100. He didn't choke on that opportunity. If he produces a nine data here, that is how close. 100. He won't be worrying about nine darters, not like he was in 2002, and he nailed one against Mason. This is about winning, pure and simple, nothing else. 140. Just over pitching, James. Rush of adrenaline, knows how important every treble is. That's a treble, not the one he wanted. Brilliant leg from both players, both throwing James nine darts. That. Well, treble 20 to lead, double 18. Now, this is a chance. This is a chance, and it would take him to the brink. To within well, one leg. James would require 76. James, 76. 16 for tops. How important. James what a dart from the machine. The bottle, the desire, the will to win. When them darts go in, with that importance. That's what makes all the practice worthwhile. Oh, now then, what a way to start. Well, in the 18 years of the world match play, we've only had two finals go to tiebreakers, and Rod Harrington will go misty-eyed at both of them. He won both those tiebreak finals against Peter Manley and Ronnie Baxter. We have to say, Wade, this match could go into extra time. It's that tight now, and with Wade rallying superbly, Taylor is no guarantee. 96. Every treble now means the world to these players. This is the kind of situation, Rod, where you're thinking, right, hit 140s, hit 140s, 180s. But when you start missing with your first dart, you're thinking, right, don't give them a chance, don't give them a, a, a reason to jump on me, just hit a straight turn. So you start off ultra aggressive on the throw, and then when you do miss, you become passive. And it's human nature, you, you sometimes can't help it. First to 18. Taylor has one break of throw. Will you require 130? This would take him to the edge of victory. He stay there. Now went for the treble 18 for the double. Well, two loose starts to follow the big treble 20. Treble 20. Treble 17. James really is giving Phil some price here. Who you require 57? 57. 40 left. Double top. Oh, that's miles away. What a flyer. Yes. Oh, he readjusts. Phil Taylor is now within one leg of the 13th World Match Play Championship. But boy, this has been tough.
possibly the toughest final he's ever been in on this stage. 57. 57 only from James Wade. James has reached the point of no return. Has to win the next two legs. Otherwise, he'll be going home to order shot. Runner up again. 140. For the seventh time, it would be in a major TV final against Phil Taylor. Are you starting to think 16. that this is the beginning of the end? I think Phil Taylor has that thought in his mind. He wants the end to come soon. And it will do if he carries on with those. This is the opportunity, Rod. This is it. This is the point that Phil Taylor has been waiting for since the event began last Saturday. It has reached... The point that he's so used to. 100. And you know that he can cross the line. He's done it just a few times. 67 times in major TV titles. He's got to the finishing line first. And he's very close to the finishing line now. 100. Certainly not rolling over. Now we see James Wade earlier hit two bullseyes. Bullseye is the way to start. And still do it. Treble 20. That would have left top, so Wade breathes again. 105. James will be quiet 144. He has done this already in this tournament. He's done it against Terry Jenkins. That's the first part. Needs another. Double 12. And so the moment arrives. Phil Taylor, one dart away from yet another world match play title. It's double 10. And he is still the maestro at the match play. It's Taylor's title for a third. Congratulations, pat on the back to champs having a chat about the battle they've just had. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That truly was a magnificent final, I'm sure you'll agree. And now it's time for the presentation. Would you please welcome the Chief Executive of the Professional Dance Corporation, Matt Porter. And ladies and gentlemen,